Hello, you're here with Rambo. This is Rambo's Tips. It's episode 8 of Daily News and COD. Who would have thought I would have got to episode 8? I didn't. The strange thing was, uh, I already did episode 8, but the quality was dog shit, so I said I'd better do it again. That's how I care for you people. So, as you may have guessed, it's not going to be daily anymore because I'm back to work. Um, I'm not going to change the name. By daily news and cod doesn't quite have the same uh, ring to it, does it? So yeah, we're back. It's going to be three or four times a week. Whenever I've got time, I'm back to work. So my weekends are hell. Uh, what we talk about today? We've got. Uh, we're going to start off with the Birmingham stabbing. Fucking hell, what is going on there? So uh, basically, the other night in Birmingham, uh, England, for those of uh, European nature who may be watching this uh, Some guy 12 o'clock at night. has gone on a rampage killed one person stabbed another seven and uh, The police didn't respond for two hours. They didn't catch him for two hours. He's just walking around Birmingham at night Fucking carving people up shanking people <laughs> How can you be in the second biggest city arguably in the UK, at that time of night, with all the CCTV, fucking shanking people and not get caught for two hours. Absolute disgrace. Coronavirus, we may as well talk about it, hadn't we? The elephant in the room, not really, because everyone's always fucking talking about it. It's like the elephant in the fucking savannah, isn't it? Uh, so, as you all know, coronavirus still still around, still happening. Uh, we've got a lock, kind of, uh, the county-wide lockdown in Ireland has ended. And the numbers are going up. So, we're getting kind of an average of like 100, 150, 200 a day now in Ireland. The UK just had the biggest rise, daily rise since May. Uh, basically, every day they're getting more. Yesterday was 3,000. So the big question is, are we being lied to? Uh, is there a conspiracy about how bad coronavirus is? So my theory on this, and take into account, I haven't got any GCSEs and I'm borderline retarded, is that most of the vulnerable people in society in Europe have unfortunately already succumbed to coronavirus. So what we need to be thinking about now is not how deadly is the coronavirus uh, to people that are uh, obviously very ill. How deadly is it to everybody else? And I suppose therein lies the problem, isn't it, you know? Um, I'll be intrigued to see what happens in two months' time. And to see if these uh, numbers that we've been getting recently are going to uh, increase the number of deaths. Because seemingly we're not getting any deaths in ireland for like 10 days i think maybe we've had one in the last 10 days which suggests that if you catch coronavirus and you're under 50 with no underlying medical problems you should be grand which also then poses the question if that is the situation does it then come down to personal responsibility should we open the pups but not let people in if they've got underlying health problems. Or, alternatively, if you've got underlying health problems, should you stay at home? You know? I mean, that's a bit weird, isn't it? It's like, you know, you're kind of nearly pointing at them like, you've got the lurgy, stay at home. They've got the AIDS. But, I mean, this is where it comes into uh, effect with personal responsibility, isn't it? At some point, you have to look after your own health. 
that would be my uh, that would be my thing. Obviously, everybody who uh, has been listening to my uh, rambling over the last couple of months will know my my stand on the lockdown. I was firmly for the lockdown. But if the lockdown was done correctly, which we haven't done, we did a half-hearted lockdown that was dog shit. And as such, hasn't really worked. I think we did a lockdown, but we're still allowing tourists to come in from America. And then wondering why we're getting bigger numbers. I think what we had to have done... What we had to have done was do a lockdown, but do it fucking properly. No? There's somebody here, isn't there? Where, where is he? Where you at, bitch? Somebody fucking killed him and it wasn't me. Oh, I'm all fucking nervous now. There is someone here. Fuck him. Oh, there's somebody there as well, look. Yeah, so, continuing. The lockdown we did was dog shit. If we were going to do a lockdown, we should have done a fucking proper lockdown. But we didn't. We did a half ass lockdown that had no effect. And not only that, the effect it did have was suicide to practically Dublin and Ireland. Have a piece of that pie. It's a fucking mess. So the big question is in Ireland is should we open the pubs? Yeah, it's time, isn't it? The lockdown isn't working anyway. Is it? Like, are we in a situation where... People aren't getting infected? No. The schools are open. The, 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 the shopping centres are absolutely fucking rammed. Suicides have doubled. Let's, uh, let's give people a little bit of social life again. Give them a bit of social interaction. Will there be consequences to opening the pub? 100%. But again, personal responsibility, I think. That's what we have to look at now, don't we? You know? Um, we can't protect people forever. This has been six months. Six months of my fucking life. I'm never getting back. Um, and arguably, these six months have taken time from my fucking life. Because I haven't done jujitsu for six months. Oh, hello. Can I get him from here? Possibly. Where you at, bitch? Oh, you fucking bitch. Yeah, it's probably taken years off my life, this uh, this coronavirus has, because uh, I've got fat. <laughs> and obviously, the amount of people that are uh, thoroughly fucking depressed during all this.
Oh, you fucking bitch whore, motherfucking cunt fuck. Oh, that was poor, wasn't it? Oh, and he's diddled me. And he had. Oh, oh headshot me. Yeah, so, in conclusion, open the fucking pubs. Either open everywhere or shut everywhere. Don't do this middle of the fucking road thing because it's, uh, it's bullshit. Seemingly even in America now the deaths are going down. Uh, because basically everyone's fucking already dead. <laughs> everyone, everyone who can die from it has died from it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Are we being lied to? Possibly. Oh, this is a good one. So, Dublin Airport. The grimy cuntbags want to introduce a drop-off charge. Fucking hell. Fucking fuck me. So, you drive up, and I know they already do this in, in England. You drive up to drop off your fucking granny to the airport. And uh, you have to pay a fucking charge. Fuck off. i tell you one thing now. Uh, granny's catching the fucking bus. <laughs> but that's what they want, isn't it? You have to use the airport. It's a necessity. It's not like you can say, no, I'm not using the airport. Well, you know what I'm going to fucking do? I'm going to drop fucking uh, people, like, outside the airport. And they can fucking walk into the airport. Pay a fucking charge. Unbelievable. Uh, so, obviously, the journal run a uh, poll on this, and it was like, do you think there should be a charge? And 80% were like, no. 145 or 5% uh, thought it was a good idea. <laughs> but, out of them 5% think it's a good idea, wait till you see, then bring it in. Because it's fucking more money, isn't it? That's what they want. They want more paper. They want more money, they want more bunts, they want more bunts and burner. Jesus, shizzle my nizzle. So, um, what else we got in the news? It's endless, it's all bad news, isn't it? Leave insert day today, good luck, uh, all you, uh, kids. Hope you do alright. You'll probably end up working in fucking Tesco's anyway, to be fair. Um... India riddled, overtakes Brazil for second most coronavirus case. It's always going to happen, India. It's, it's going to be very, very hard to turn the tide. But I think this is what's going to happen with the coronavirus. It's going to uh, run through society. Going to kill all the old people. And all the people with uh, respiratory problems. And all the people with heart problems. All the people uh, who are on their ass, And... Um, yeah, and then the rest of us will kind of live with the uh, repercussions of that. It's like, if I believed in conspiracies, I would say it's the perfect uh, conservative fucking disease, isn't it? Like, if you, if you could say to a conservative MP on the old sly, the old, you know, listen, mate, I've got something here. We release it and it's going to kill all the old people and all the disabled people. They would fucking rip your hands off, wouldn't they? They wouldn't tell you that, though, would they? There was a, a guy in the... Uh... Oh, that was poor. guy in the Daily Mail, and he was saying uh, that he thinks winter might see a slowdown because... Oh, fuck off. Because, basically, there's going to be less um, interaction with people. Which is true, in a way. But you're still going to be on the trains. You're still going to be on fucking buses, aren't you? Aren't you? The kids are still going to be in school, aren't they? Open the pubs! That's what everyone's like in Ireland now. Open the pubs! I don't care, because I don't fucking go to the pub. But, I mean, if it makes people happy, then open the pubs. You know what I'm saying, bruv? The other side of it is... If they open the pubs, they, they have to come out with regulations, man. Have to come out with regulations. 
I don't know how they're going to come out with regulations, but they have to come out with regulations. Again, I don't know what regulations, but I'll tell you one thing now. Something very important, IMO, will be time. Time limits. Uh, because if somebody's in the pub for two hours, that's fine. If they're in the pub for four hours, it's going to get messy. Uh, I think they should uh, change closing times. Open the pubs, but claim, change uh, uh, closing times. So I'd be all over uh, the situation of half ten, eleven o'clock. Right, lads, fuck off. Off you go. Because not too much bad can happen. You know, if you close at eleven o'clock, you know, how fucking rat ass can you get? The problems, of course, come when people are on the piss and it's two in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we, we've already seen in certain areas of Ireland what basically goes on uh, late in uh, <laughs> when people are pissed. And, you know, that's not a bad thing. People are going to... People want social interaction. You know, we're a social... We're a social species, and as such, we we need social interaction. Where you at, bitch? Yeah, so we need social interaction, but the f fucking problem is when you've had eight pints, six sambucas, and half a gram of coke, and it's three in the morning, that's when all the fucking gnarly shit happens, isn't it? You know? So I think we should open the pubs, but I think we should do it with uh, a time scale, you know, 11 o'clock, half 11, done. I'd maybe even think about a, I mean, I was thinking of like a limit of alcohol that you can have, you know, maybe like, all right, four pints. But again, What's that going to do? You're going to have fucking four pints and then you're going to go to the next pub, aren't you? And then you're going to have another four pints. And then you're going to go to the next pub. And then you're going to have another four pints and go to the next pub. So maybe that's even worse, you know? I mean, that's what you, that's what you kind of have to ask yourself, isn't it, you know? He's on the roof. I can't even be asked to try and fucking go up there, being honest with you. Who else is in here? Oh, you fucking dickhead. Homeboy wants to fucking play, doesn't he? Oh! I'd normally try and kill this motherfucker, but... Ah! He's, He's fucking sniping, and I haven't got a fucking sniper rifle, have I? Like a fucking dickhead.
And there's somebody right fucking near me here as well. Weird times, man. I would rather the whole of Ireland just stayed in the house for two months and be doing this for fucking six. Ah, oh, motherfucker. He knew I was there. Ah, oh, he had a fucking heartbeat. No wonder he knew I was there. And there's me, like a fucking dickhead. Stood there like that. You're definitely not here for the Call of Duty, are you? Because I'm playing shit recently. It's what happens when everybody else is fucking grinding and I'm at work all weekend. So fuck you, work. If anybody of my bosses are listening to this, I don't mean you, I mean specifically work. I feel like I'm, uh... I feel like I should just be paid to do this. <laughs> uh... God. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing, like, nobody wants to work today. You work to live. Work to live. Come on, let's see if I can fucking get out of this gulag today. Fuck you. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do what you got to do. Uh, and I'll see you uh, maybe tomorrow.